Welcome to episode 75 of the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast. I'm Dr. Jenna, and today we are going into four simple steps to build better habits and lose weight during postpartum recovery. I can't wait to get into this episode because this is sort of the biggest, chunkiest, meatiest part of the book, Atomic Habits. And I know that you've been loving this series, going back all the way to the odd episodes from this episode, working your way back are all of the episodes regarding the Atomic Habits book and everything to motivate you to have habits, good habits. This is the most important part to fitness as a new mom. You have to establish good habits because without these habits, you are fighting an uphill battle and it's going to be so hard to consistently work out with a baby who is inconsistent, right? Our days as moms are so inconsistent with our babies. So we have to have some kind of consistency and we have to work hard at that consistency with good habits. Let's take the thinking out of it and let's make it real simple for us. Are you ready to dive into today's episode? Let's go. Hey friend, welcome to the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast, where you will learn how to strengthen your body after pregnancy and finally get rid of the postpartum pooch in less time. Fitness can fit easily into your busy schedule. There's a simple way to navigate your postpartum journey, and I'm here to teach you how to do it without the chaos, overwhelm, and tears. If you are here for a little sweat, a whole lot of sleep, defined, tight, and toned muscles, and to live your life as a mom to the fullest, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenna, but you can call me Jenna, and I'm a physical therapist and a mom of four little girls who has cracked the code on how to strengthen your core postpartum in the easiest way possible without the stress, exhaustion, or struggle. I did it, and now I'm here to help you do the same. It's all about progress, not perfection, and I'm here to help walk you through the journey to feeling strong, confident, and energized. That energy comes from within, not your coffee. Let's roll out your yoga mat and hit the floor, girl. It's time to do this. Today's spotlight review is from Golden Gate 2209. Loving the habit. Dr. Jenna, your podcast helped me. I switched up my whole morning routine, clothes laid out in the bathroom. I get dressed before I do anything. I have been setting my alarm for a few minutes earlier each day. I work out before I do anything and then quickly make coffee and my teen's breakfast, then get my power hour in. Listening to the podcast while picking apart the Atomic Habits book has been game changing. I am a year postpartum, but this podcast has me finally putting my fitness and health journey back as a priority. Thank you so much. And I am so glad that this podcast is helping you with your fitness goals. I'm so glad that the book review of Atomic Habits is helping you. And I am so excited for this review. Thank you for leaving it. And if you want to leave a review for this podcast, I would be so grateful. You will get entered into a giveaway for the month of April if you leave a review this month. All you have to do is scroll down to the five stars, click on write a review, write your little review. It doesn't have to be long and you can take a screenshot, share it with me in Instagram or on our Facebook group and you will be entered to win a free fitness strategy session with me and a $50 Amazon gift card. Please take the time to leave a quick review. I would be so appreciative of it. We are on day four of our weight loss week series where we are talking about all things weight loss for postpartum moms, going back to milk supply on Monday, and on Tuesday, we talked all about the core and losing weight around our core region. On Wednesday, we talked about sleep and how sleep can help you with weight loss. And today we are talking about habits. And yes, we are diving deep into the book, Atomic Habits, but we know that having good habits in place are really the primary focus for losing weight. Without having habits, you can't lose the weight because you can't just lose weight here and then go back to your old ways the next week and then going back to good habits the next week and back and forth, back and forth. That's called that yo-yo diet kind of thing. We're not talking about that. We want habits that can stick with us for a lifetime. Please let that soak in. This is lifetime altering habits. 
This is not just for our 20s or our 30s or our 40s or beyond. It is all the way until our deathbed. And I want to live to 100, so I'm planning on doing these healthy habits all the way to the end. (laughs) All right, so we are going into the book Atomic Habits, and we're talking about four simple steps to build better habits and lose weight. The first step is always trial and error when it comes to creating new habits. We have to analyze and process what's going on. So if we're creating a new habit, the easiest one for me to talk about is waking up early to exercise in the morning. It's not easy to wake up early, but if we're going to start this process of creating a new habit, we have to analyze and process what's working, what's not working, what's a real struggle, what's something that you can deal with over time. So yes, waking up is hard, but if you're determined to wake up early, we have to get over that sensation of fatigue and tiredness. So we're going to wake up and we're going to find something easy to do first, first thing when we wake up. Okay. We're going to analyze the process. What is the easiest thing that you can do when you wake up? First thing, is it just going to the bathroom? Is it getting your workout clothes on? Maybe it's just sitting on the edge of the bed and reading a devotional quickly in the morning. That's what I like to do sometimes when I'm really groggy. Just sit up on the edge of the bed, let all the blood start rushing to my brain a little bit and slowly open up my eyes and begin to read a little bit. It doesn't require a lot of movement, but it helps me to sort of recharge on the edge of my bed. So you have to find what works for you. So our brains are busy. They're trying to learn the most effective course of action. The feedback loop is when we encounter something that we get a reward afterwards. This is key to know, okay? So if we have this feedback loop of getting a reward when we do something good, then we're going to want to keep doing that good thing and get that reward again. This is what creates the habit. Okay. So if we are always getting a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, then we are excited to wake up to get that cup of coffee. It's a feedback loop. We wake up, we get our coffee. The next day we wake up, we get our coffee and then we are, you know, awake and relieved and excited for that warm cup of coffee. So that's the feedback loop, but we need to create a feedback loop that is of healthy habits. Did you know as habits are created, the level of activity in our brain decreases? There's no longer a need to analyze every situation. This is crucial. We as moms are so busy with our children, with our babies, that we don't have the time to think about creating new habits, even though yes, catch 22, that's what we're trying to do. But the goal is to create the new habit now so that as we get into the thick of motherhood, and yes, it's going to get a little bit harder and a little bit rockier as time goes on. But as we are going through motherhood, we want to have things on autopilot. We don't want to have to think about working out. And that's our goal. That's our habit goal that we're trying to achieve is working out first thing in the morning. We want to have it on autopilot. So the more we have habits in place, habits in place, the easier it is for our brains. It takes less activity to think. And this is crucial for new moms, right? It's crucial that we don't have to think so hard on this stuff. There's so much going on in our brain. Let's make something easier for ourselves, like breastfeeding. I always like that example because, you know, once you're a seasoned mom, breastfeeding takes little to no effort. You know, you become a pro and you don't have to think about it anymore. That's what I want for you when it comes to fitness. I love this quote from the book Atomic Habits from James Clear. Reliable solutions to reoccurring problems in our environment, that's what a habit is. It's just a solution to the problem that we're having over and over again. Okay, so if we are having a problem of exercising, we need to create the habit of a solution. The solution is creating a workout routine in the morning. Well, what's in your workout routine? You got to go back to our previous episodes, all those odd episodes, because we talk about workout routines very vividly, very detailed in the other episodes. But there are four steps that you need to learn to create a better habit and to create a habit of losing weight. You want to know what those are? Okay, let's get into it. The four simple steps that James Clear maps out in his book are Q craving, response, and reward. Those are the four steps to creating a new habit. This helps us to understand 
what the habit is. So how it works and how to improve it, you have to understand the cue, the craving, the response, and the reward. The cue triggers the brain to initiate a behavior. The cue leads to a craving, and without craving a change, we have no reason to act. And the response, this is the actual habit you're performing. And the last one, the reward, is the end goal of every habit. The cue is about noticing the reward. The craving is about wanting the reward. The response is about obtaining the reward. We chase the reward because one, they satisfy us, and two, they teach us. And the reward satisfies our craving to gain status or to seek approval or to get contentment in our lives. So think about the reward that you want and the reward is weight loss. Okay, well, what's the cue? We want weight loss because why? Because we want to get noticed. Maybe we want to get noticed by our husbands. So that might be the cue. So the craving is we want that reward. We're craving the weight loss because we're craving to have recognition by our husband or craving to feel good in our clothes again. Whatever that craving is, there is some kind of craving out there. Try to think about what your craving is for weight loss. This is key. You have to know why do you want to lose weight? I love, love, love for you to answer this question in our Facebook community where we can share the reason why we want to lose weight because this is the first step to actually losing weight. We need to understand what is going on in our brains and what's the motive behind losing weight. Is it because we just want to wear our favorite pair of jeans again or we want to put on a special dress and go on a date or we want to have um, our family to approve of us? I don't know. Maybe you're going to a family reunion and you want to look good. Maybe you just want to live a longer life, which is my reason. I just want to live longer. All right, so that's the craving. The response is what are you going to do to obtain that reward? What are you going to do to lose weight? And this is the habit itself. This is creating the habit of fitness, of waking up early, going to bed on time, avoiding the sugary foods, and surrounding yourself with healthy healthy people. And if you don't have a circle of friends that are living that healthy lifestyle, I would love for you to join us in that Facebook group. This is where all the fit moms are hanging out and they're all coming from the podcast and from the Live Core Strong community. I'd love for you to be in there with us. We are going to motivate you and create that awesome response of getting a good habit, that response of obtaining the reward. Let's create that habit for you. All right. And the last part is the reward that satisfies our craving. So we want to lose weight and the reward is weight loss. That's what this habit loop is all about. So again, it's number one, cue, number two, craving, number three, response, and number four, reward. Have you ever heard of these four before? I know when I first started reading this book, I was not familiar with these four simple steps, but this is the meat of the whole book. From this point on, James Clear goes into all four of these in detail. So obviously I didn't go into detail today about these four steps, but we are going to go into more detail and we're going to focus on the fitness aspect for sure, because we are postpartum moms who are trying to be fit and going back to the other episodes, I'm calling you a fit mom now because it starts in your brain. You have to tell yourself that you are a fit mom. You have to tell yourself that you are that person. If you classify yourself as a postpartum mom who's trying to lose weight, it's not really going to trigger in your brain that you actually are a fit mom. You have to reverse your thinking and just right now declare it that you are a fit mom. And I'm so glad that you're here in this weight loss week series. Please take action. Please do the things that I am coaching you on. These are like free coaching sessions right here. So the only way that you're going to see results is if you actually take action. So today your action is to figure out what your feedback loop is. What is the response that you want to do in order to lose weight? The response is the habit. Write out a habit that you want to do to help you lose weight. 
Make it simple. Make it less than five steps if you can. I know that sounds hard, but try to come up with five easy steps that you can do to help you lose weight. This is the third part. The the reward is the fourth part, and that is the weight loss. I'm going to leave you with one more amazing quote from the book, Atomic Habits. The cue triggers the craving, which motivates a response, which provides the reward, which satisfies the craving, and ultimately becomes associated with the cue. This is the loop that I'm talking about. This is the loop that James Clear is talking about. Repeat that over and over again and understand that this is the starting point to creating the habit of your dreams. Are you excited? I am. I'm so excited. You can do this. Get the book, Atomic Habits. It's linked in the show notes below. Follow along with us and keep sticking around for all the odd episodes where I'm going to go further along in this book and we're going to get you working out consistently as a postpartum mom. You can do this. And remember to always live core strong. Did you learn something amazing today and feel like your mama friends would learn a lot too? You can have a huge impact on their lives and the lives of so many other moms by subscribing and leaving a review on iTunes or Apple Podcasts so the fit postpartum mom message can spread all over the world. New moms don't need to struggle anymore. The answers are all right here waiting for them. So take 30 seconds to share it. Take a screenshot of this podcast, tag me on Instagram, and post it in your stories. But before you go, please head over to Apple Podcasts, subscribe, and leave a five-star written review so you can help grow the Strong Mom community. I love to have you and your mom friends there with me. And as a thank you for being here all the way to the end, I have something special for you. I'm giving you free access to my training on how to safely start postpartum ab exercises in less than two minutes a day. Watch right now at www.livecorestrong.com slash class. I can't wait to see you next time on the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast.